How to Package Freight by RNL Carriers. Proper packaging is a must. Most damage to freight is the result of improper packing. The safety of your freight is important to us, so please consider the following practices before shipping. There are numerous inner packing materials and applications to choose from when packing freight. Bubble wrap is ideal for fragile and irregularly shaped objects. Foam is ideal for freight that requires extra protection from vibrations and shocks. Paper honeycomb is effective in both inner and outer packaging capacities. Loose fills such as packing peanuts fill the gaps around freight and offer shock protection. Paper pad is considered a blocking, filling, and wrapping material and is ideal for irregularly shaped objects. Edge boards stabilize the load and reduce the risk of damage to the edge of boxes. Remember to always keep freight within pallet dimensions. Corrosion protection. Prevent corrosion and oxidation when transporting non-treated metals. Please take this into consideration when shipping freight. If the freight you are shipping is wrapped in shrink wrap only, the shipment is highly susceptible to damage. Please ensure that all freight has protective packaging to protect the item during transit. Although items in a sealed box may appear to be okay, freight tends to shift within the shipper's packaging while in transit. Always make sure to use inner packaging to fill any voids within boxes. This will reduce the possibility of an item shifting during transit. Freight should be shipped on a pallet or skid that is in good condition. Shipping pallets should be covered with undamaged deck and runner boards, must provide four-way access, be free of protruding nails, staples, and splinters, and include dunnage such as cardboard between the pallet and the freight. Do not stack with an interlocking pattern. That places the strongest part of the box on top and the weakest at the bottom. Do use a column pattern, which places the strongest points directly on top of each other. A combination pattern is ideal when the pallet is double height with no risk of double stacking. Slip sheets and shrink wrap between layers will add extra stability. Avoid storage in human environments. This can reduce carton strength by nearly 60%. When sealing cartons, remember to use the three strip H taping method across seams and flaps. Tape both top and bottom seams. Smooth the entire tape surface to ensure adhesion. When wrapping and securing to pallet or skid, remember to tuck the lead of the wrap between the pallet and the bottom box. Wrap in an upward direction, overlapping each layer of wrap by at least 50%. Twist the wrap every other time around to increase wrap strength. At the top, stretch the wrap diagonally over the top corners with a 3 inch overlap and then spiral back down to the bottom. Ensure the freight is secured to the pallet by finishing with a 3 inch overlap of the pallet base with several layers of wrap. If additional support is needed, metal, plastic, or nylon banding will secure freight to the pallet. Each package must contain the shipper and consignee name, as well as the address and match the bill of lading. Address labels must be placed in obvious and secure locations. Precautionary markings must be pictorial with text and within a border or have a contrasting background color with increased visibility. Markings must be displayed on all sides of freight. Ensure all hazmat markings are included. Here are some examples of the handling markings you may encounter. Is your freight ready to ship? Contact us now for a rate book. 800-543-5589 or visit rlc.com.